Let's do this. Meet you outside. you cleaned your washing machine. I bet you can't remember, which means it's probably time to clean it. From the outside, this machine looks pretty clean, but it is really in deep need of a clean. Today, I am deep cleaning a few of the appliances in my house that really need a good deep clean. Our first one is the washing machine. And I have a front loading washing machine. So I'm gonna focus on a few areas, of course, cleaning where the detergent gets in because there is a little bit of gunk in that area. And then really focusing on the inside. Um, the drum itself looks pretty clean, but the main area I'm worried about is right here and you can see there's definitely some mold. So this is where I'm going to focus primarily today and just getting this nice and clean. In this area is a known thing that happens with these type of washing machines. I'm going to be using this dish soap and vinegar solution as my primary cleaning agent and I'll start by cleaning the detergent dispensers. Uh, I was only able to get one of them out so that's the one I'm going to clean this way. And of course after I scrub it nice and clean I will rinse it with some hot water. For the pieces that I was unable to get out, I will just use the same solution and the same sponge to scrub in their location and then wipe down with a damp microfiber cloth and then dry it with a dry one. It's like we're running in circles, going around every day, getting stuck in the hurdles. Oh, yesterday. Don't you wanna go now let's move to the inside of the washing machine and this was the main reason why I realized I really need to deep clean mine as you can see on this rubber part of mine I was starting to build some mold and I just really needed to scrub it clean so I started by using a sponge and again that dish soap and vinegar solution and I just went around and scrubbed it nice and clean I will say the condition of mine was that the sponge was not enough so then I had to move on to a toothbrush and I ended up actually also using q-tips to get really in there um, to get all that stuff out away from the fray let's not get stuck in our worries we'll make our way won't you come outside Where but at the end I was really impressed with how much of that stuff I got out Leave a comment down below if you actually knew th what this area was for, because I did not. Anyway, this is a part of your washing machine that you should be emptying out pretty regularly. As you can see, there's a hose here that has extra water, and so you definitely want to drain this. Again, haven't done it in a while, which is why there's so much in mine. And then there's a little filter as well, and you'll go ahead and take that out. This is where some extra things can get stuck in, so like coins or other items like that. Uh, mine mostly just had gunk on it, and inside also had gunk. So I gave the inside a nice scrub through, and then I also made sure to just wash the actual filter. Where the sunflowers bloom Breathe in the air Look up to the moon I'll meet you outside inside of the drum I'm gonna go ahead and make a baking soda paste using some baking soda and water and this will help kind of 
create a little bit of texture as I'm scrubbing on the inside, but also deodorize things. So I'll give the inside drum a nice scrub with this solution, and then I'll use a microfiber cloth to wipe it all away. Part of this circus. And finally, I'm gonna give the outside of the washing machine a nice wipe down with a multi surface cleaner. But I can't relate. Do our actions even matter? Now that we've cleaned it inside and out, the last step is I am gonna put it um, on the tub cycle clean with one of these tablets and let it run. After going through this whole process, I will definitely be cleaning my washing machine at least monthly. In regards to maintaining it, you definitely want to keep it nice and dry. So I periodically would use a microfiber cloth to clean the, the door and the drum. I will make sure to be so much more diligent about that and really get in between the places. And then always never like lock it all the way. It actually has an ability to close it part of the way. And that's what I'm going to do from now on. And Hopefully it will not get nearly as disgusting as it was today. You may run your dishwasher every single night. When was the last time you cleaned it? First things first, we gotta empty it. At least now I'm feeling better. I know I'm here to stay. Won't you come outside? Okay, let's see what we're starting out with. At a first glance, I think the dishwasher looks pretty good, but as you can see on the sides, there's definitely some gunk starting to build up and there is food on that filter, so I'm sure there's stuff waiting for me there. We'll start by taking everything out of the dishwasher, which is always a struggle. Go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up if you struggle with the same thing. Anyway, using our favorite solution, we'll go ahead and wash each of these pieces, really focusing on the areas on the sides where it touches the railing. I've noticed that's where a lot of the buildup occurs. And of course, rinsing it with some hot water. Feels like a heavy burden, but I can't relate. Do our actions even matter? Or is this a fate? At least now I'm feeling better I know I'm here to stay Won't you come outside Where the sunflowers bloom Breathe in the air Look up to the moon I'll meet you outside go ahead and take out the filter and oh my god did you expect that because i did not um, i also made sure that there was nothing stuck inside but after some google searching it turns out that it is normal for some water to stay in here so i just love that as is Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and scrub the inside of my dishwasher first. And for this part, I am using a that baking soda solution just to kind of make it nice and clean and also deodorized. And for all those spots that are really hard to clean, I pull out my handy dandy toothbrush. Do you see this area? It is so gross. I cannot believe I'm actually showing it to you. Getting stuck in the hurdles of yesterday. Don't you want to go further away from the fray? Let's not get stuck in. On my dishwasher, I have this little rubber 
part that I'm sure helps keep the seal in and I noticed it actually came out pretty easily and I was able to put it back in easily so I did take that out and start cleaning it and inside was of course gross so I pulled out some of my favorite q-tips to really make sure I get nice and in there I did do it in two parts I did one side first put that back inside and then I did the other side we'll make our way won't you come outside where the sunflowers bloom Just as I thought I was done cleaning, I turned this thing over and noticed all of that. <laughs> For the final step i am gonna run the dishwasher on the hottest setting the sanitize the extra dry extra everything and put a special dishwasher cleaning tablet in and run this cycle and it's clean what do you think how does it look i am so pleased with how it came out as for a washer i mean come on it looks so good I am so impressed with the end result and the best part it smells so clean I love it anyway I hope you enjoyed this video if you did go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing so you don't miss any further videos just like this one and I'll see you at my next one bye